Liberal Viewer presents. So President Obama may respond to congressional inaction by taking some executive action to give deferred action status to up to 5 million people. Almost half of the 11 or 12 million estimated undocumented immigrants in the United States would have this deferred action status. The president has a lot of prosecutorial discretion, especially in the area of immigration, because it's written into the laws that Congress has passed. And then the clip I want to show on this whole immigration issue on whether the president has the authority to grant deferred action to millions of people in regards to Republican Congressman Steve King over on Fox News Sunday this morning. And I'll talk about that final immigration clip after I show it to you here. White House officials now say, and they really have been teeing this up, that now it looks like the president will uh, take some major executive action over the course of the summer or right after Labor Day and may even consider deferring the deportations of millions of more illegal immigrants. Con Congressman King, if he does that, if he goes ahead and unilaterally decides to defer deportations of millions of immigrants, what are you going to do about it? Well, none of us, none of us want to do the thing that's left for us as an alternative. But if the president has decided that he's simply going not to going to or going to enforce any immigration law, or at least not against anybody except the felons, which essentially he has done already, this is a broader group of people. I think Congress has to sit down and have a serious look at the rest of this Constitution, and that includes that I word that we don't want to say. And I only say that now on this program because I want to encourage the president: please don't put America into a constitutional crisis. Please. Please don't do that. There's too much at stake in this country to be deciding that you can take over the Constitution and write it at will. But you're saying that if he were to do that, then impeachment would be on the table. I think then we have to start, sit down and take a look at that. Where would we draw the line otherwise? If that's not enough to bring that about, then I don't know what would be. We've never seen anything in this country like a president that says, I'm going to make up all immigration law that I choose, and I'm going to drive this thing regardless of the resistance of Congress. That's why I push so hard to get the DACA language out into this legislation that we just passed. It says, Mr. President, I mean, you can't do this. It's unconstitutional, and you know it. We want to stop the funding off to implement or enforce it. DACA. That's the message on... We got Melissa. <laughs> so, yeah, Fox News Sunday again got a Republican to talk about impeachment, which uh, I've seen a lot of stories on Fox News this week saying that it's the Democrats who are really talking about impeachment because it's a good fundraiser for them. Uh, but some people say it's actually this ploy to get uh, Republicans to talk about impeachment, and uh, at least in regards to Republican Congressman Steve King over on Fox News Sunday this morning, that ploy worked because uh, he was definitely baited into saying he would at least uh, consider impeachment if the president went ahead and gave uh, deferred action to so many millions of uh, undocumented immigrants. But I want to know what you think. Are Republicans falling for a trap set by President Obama to get them to talk up both impeachment and deportations? And regarding those two Republican issues, which does more long-term harm to the Republican brand, being the impeachment party or being the deportation party? I, YouTube, you decide.